Good afternoon everyone, it's Jackie from Pretty Paper Crafts. I just want to say thank you to everybody for sticking with me. I have now set up my Facebook group which is called Pretty Paper Crafts so you can share your makes you've made using my tutorials. Now this is what we're going to be making today. It's basically a pop-up card, um, flowers or whatever theme you want. It is quite a difficult card to make. I haven't found a tutorial for it. It's just one that I've sort of put together myself. So it's not the easiest one to make, but you know, you'll, you'll get the gist of it anyway. So let me just go through it. First of all, we need materials. And in the materials, we need a sheet of vellum. 11 inches by, I think it's seven. Some Marie card or pattern paper, acetate and a six by six card. First of all, you start off with your, if you're going to use a die cut on an edge die, on the edge then this is the stage where you need to do that before you add your mirror card or pattern so if you're going to use your edger die then you put it like that and die cut it through and take your edger dies off then you would put your card on right the next stage is using your acetate you need to cut quarter inch strips doesn't matter what length they are at this stage because they're going to be different heights within the card so you just need them all bit of tape on there stuck on one end only at this stage whatever theme you're using um, put together like that The next stage is your vellum. Now you need to cut your vellum to 11 by 7 and you score it at 1 inch and you want a mountain valley, mountain valley all the way along and you need it to be nice and crisp so really crease that well when it's done. From that first piece, you need to cut a, a piece off the end, which is two and a half inches. So I'll hold that back unless you're going to do another one. And then to that two and a half inch one, you need to put some red liner tape at each end. The reason I say red liner tape and not double sided tape is because it is going to be stuck to the inside like that. So you need that strength, otherwise this is just going to peel off. So you put it double sided like that, you would then put that in the middle like that, stick that side down, close it over and stick the other side down, which leaves you with this. Then you're going to need these little stoppers as well, I'll keep that measurement there because you're going to need that. From this and these put together what you're going to do is you're going to build up your flowers or whatever um, theme it is you're going to be using so you would cut that to let's just say that length a little bit of double sided tape there and you would put that there and that would be your first one so you're actually going to build it up. Let me just place this here at a moment. Different lengths, different layers all the way through. Now the only thing that I did do on mine, which is I made a little stopper. Now with this stopper, it is just, um, I think that's two and a half inches. Two and a half inches. 
scored up one inch some red liner tape now I put that like that on there and then I put a little bit of foam which raised that up and a stopper there because what you want is you want the card to stand up well it naturally wants to fall so doing it this way I'll show it to you on a finished card in a minute doing it this way it lets it stand up so um, you would then this this little two and a half inch one is two inches up there so that's round about there you would put that by one inch across the bottom and then you would get one of your little um, things to go with on there on the top of a bit of foam and then that would just hook behind that like an easel card but it's a uh, an adaptation so let me just put move those in a minute and I will bring in the finished cards right now this one this one is I like feathers and I added gems and things which you would do according to your theme and your taste and this is what it would look like so all these are different lengths they're all double sided on there here's the little stopper so that little stopper holds it like that so it holds it up instead of it falling although I think it would look nice in a, a cradle effect with this done on this side as well and then you I put some feathers in because I think always think they're nice and they fill up nice gems to finish it off so that's that one then we've got a gold one and this one is flowers again with the feathers because they fill they feel nice so that's the gold one then we've got a silver one silver butterfly one so you just put your butterflies anywhere you want just looks pretty on the silver and finally I done a Christmas one because it's always worth doing a Christmas ones and that obviously is in red with the gems and Christmas puddings and all little Christmas ephemera free with the magazine I tend to keep all the freebie packets and things um, and keep them in just in little bags and there you go so that's today's tutorial again I hope thank you all for st st sticking with me I am getting there next week's tutorial is much much easier than this one anyway have a good week happy crafting and I'll catch you next week bye bye